I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Google document with linkable navigation. It's a great way to create a structured document for your business or personal use, and anyone with a Gmail account has access to Google Drive and its associated applications, including Google Docs and Google Sheets, among others. Unfortunately, many don't know these tools exist or how to best utilize them. And I often say Google is abysmal at being amazing. They've created some tool, amazing tools that so many know so little about. One of the areas that we coach and consult on is information management, and Google provides some of the best tools for this and for team collaboration. And rather than try and explain it, I'm going to demonstrate it and provide a link to a sample document that you can take a look at. So let me show you some of the key features of the document in question. So here's a document that you'll have access to, and I'll provide that link. And what you're going to see here is there's a table of contents that has links to various sections throughout the document, and there's also a back to top link up in the header so it appears on every page. So if I want to go to a given section in the document, let's say procedure two, I click on that in the table of contents, it brings up another link, the associated link to that, and when I click on that, it takes me down to procedure two, and we can see procedure three and procedure subtools for procedure three after that, or tools for procedure three. And then right up here in the heading of the document, we can see the back to top link. I click to that, and it takes me back up to the table of contents. So we can use that through out anywhere in this table of contents. We can go down here, and I click on this link, and it takes me down to that section in the document, and once again, back to top. So it's a very simple to navigate um, document that's broken into organized sections. And the way that these sections work, and we'll talk about this more when I show you an example of how to create this document, but basically these are all heading styles. So at the top level it's heading style one, and these are heading styles two, and then down here where you see the third indent is heading style three. So let's take a look at that. In our toolbar we can see I'm on a heading style one, <clears throat> and uh, we down here, this is also heading style one, and after each heading style, we just have a basic normal text style. And then when I click here, it's heading style one. This right here is heading style two. So when I go down to these where there's a third subheading, let's go to tools for procedure number three, and we see that this is heading style two, procedure number three is heading style one, and then these subheadings down here, it's heading style three. And we can see that reflected up here in the style bar. So headings are what allow us to create this automated table of contents that links to each section. That's become, going to become the critical piece that creates an organized or structured document that kind of self-documents or, or self-links um, you know, or automatically creates the new links that you need as you add to your document so that you're not having to create the links to each section. So we'll look at how you do that. We're going to go to this example document and very quickly I'm just going to run through how to do this, um, but it should become clear to you how this works. But if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. Um, you can post them on YouTube or post them on the website or send me an email directly to info at pulseinformatics.com. So let's take a look. First thing I'm going to do is just clear this one little section out I have so that we're stuck with a blank document, normal text here, and what we're going to do is the first thing is we're going to apply style heading one to this first document. And I can do that by dropping down here and choosing heading one, or I can use the uh, keystroke control alt and one. So control alt one will apply heading style one, control alt two will apply heading style two, and control alt three will apply heading style three, and so on. So those heading styles become important. I usually don't go beyond heading style three. I don't think that much granular um, kind of structure in a document is that much more helpful than just heading, most of we're at heading styles one and two. But, so if I do control alt one, and I type table of contents, hit enter, and we're going to insert TOC here. Now my dog is barking. Probably a coyote out there. All right. And then we'll go to a new line. I'm going to do introduction, new heading style. Here is our introduction. 
And to have this make the most sense possible, I'm going to create a new line here, or a new page. Control Enter puts in a page break. Take us to a new page and say procedure number one. Here is procedure one. I'm going to hit new line. And then I'm going to do Control Alt 2. And then finally, Control Alt 3. Now I'm going to go back to the top of the document. And where I'm going to insert the table of contents, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to go to Insert, Table of Contents. And we can see that it's created our table of contents as linkable elements in the document to each section heading style that we've created. So if I click here on Heading Style 1, takes me or Heading Style 3, sorry, it takes me down to that section or that page in the document. Now what we don't have is our link back to top, so here's how we accomplish that. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to create a bookmark to this first table of contents because we can link two bookmarks. And so I'm going to go to Insert, Bookmark, and it creates this special character here to the left. That's a bookmark character. So we've now bookmarked this section of the document. Now I'm going to go up into the heading, the document heading, and put some information up there. So I'm going to go to Insert, Heading, and we can use the title, Heading Style, or the Title Style, and say Link Document. When I hit Enter, it goes back to the normal text style, and I'm just going to do parentheses back to top. I'm going to highlight this. And now I'm going to go to Insert Link. When I go to Insert Link, I can actually type a link to any website, or it lets me choose from any of the headings I have in the document, and finally to bookmarks. I only have one bookmark, it's the table of contents. So we're going to do a link to that bookmark. What that does is it gives us, because the heading um, appears on every page of the document, no matter how large our document is, we will have a back to top link that takes us back to this bookmark, our table of contents. So if I go down to heading style 3 here, and it takes me into that new page, and now I'm looking here and I see the back to top link and I click on that, it takes me back to the top. Now as I add new styles to this document, doesn't matter where they are, so under our introduction, I do control alt 2 and I say um, sub introduction info. All I have to do is come up here to this table of contents and press the refresh link and now it's added that item. So if I go down to the bottom of the document, do a new heading 1 style and say um, resources and other info here is our resource list, and I do Control Alt 2 for Heading Style 2. We could say Graphic Design Tools. Then we could have Control Alt 3, Adobe. Yes, and then if I wanted to, I could have a link here. I'm just going to make adobe.com. Okay, so now if I go back to the top, refresh that, it adds those items in there. So now I can click to go to any of those sections, and we're right in that section. Even if this was on a new page, now we have our link back to top document. So that's how we create a structured document. So it involves heading styles, organized heading styles, inserting a table of contents, creating a bookmark to the top of the document, 
or to the first section that we're going to input. For us, it's always a table of contents. And then up in the heading of the document, putting a link to that bookmark so we can always get back to the top very easily. So I'm going to give you a link to this document. You can go check it out. And I would just, uh, you know, encourage that you jump into Google Drive and Google Documents and start creating things um, and learn how to utilize this. It's a great tool for information management and just organizing your information. And remember, Google Documents can be shared with one or more people and this is how we collaborate as a team at Pulse Informatics and how I collaborate with other projects with musicians and and the like so it, it really has a lot of great uses so hopefully you found that helpful if you have questions feel free to contact me post them here on YouTube or you can post them on the blog or contact me directly at info at pulseinformatics.com thanks